Hi, this is Missy with Miss Everly Designs. Today we're going to be crocheting our side saddle stitch beanie that we sell in our shop. We're going to be doing the newborn size today. All the other sizes are available on our patterns in our shop linked below. We're going to be using a line brand Heartland with a five millimeter H hook. So grab your yarn and your hook and let's get started. When you start, you're going to want to have a long tail. This is going to help close off the top and just do a slip knot. And for the newborn size, you're gonna chain 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now again, this is the top, so you're gonna go ahead and make a circle, find your first chain, and you're gonna actually just do a single crochet straight into the first chain. For the first row, we're gonna be doing a modified side saddle stitch. It's gonna be half the size. This will keep it from bubbling up. So you're gonna chain three yarn over go into the next chain pull up a loop and then pull through the first two loops so you have two loops on your hook do that again three loops on your hook and pull through all three chain one so that's your first half side saddle stitch going into the second single crochet, chain three, yarn over, go into the next chain, pull up a loop, pull through two loops, yarn over, go into the same chain, pull through two loops, there's three on your hook, chain one, and there you go. Each side saddle is going to be on two chains, you're gonna do a total of 10 side saddles for this size. Once you've completed the 10 side saddles, it's gonna look like this. Now to close off, you're going to slip stitch to join. Now you're gonna slip stitch in that first single crochet that you did, right in the middle of it. As I'm showing you here, go ahead and put your hook through the single crochet and then slip stitch. Now you're gonna turn. This starts row two. Row two, we're gonna do another modified side saddle stitch. This is a three fourths. You're gonna start your single crochet in the second stitch from your hook. There's always two stitches on top of the side saddle you wanna do the one closest to the chain three. Then you're just gonna do a single crochet, chain three. This one will be a little bit different from the last one, but very similar. You're going to start going through the chain three space and you're gonna end up with four loops on your hook this time instead of three. So there we go, one, two, three, four. Pull through all four and chain one. There's your first side saddle stitch. One more time. Start your single crochet in the second chain from your hook. Single crochet, chain three, yarn over. Maybe, yarn over. Put your hook through the chain three space. Pull through two loops. Do that two more times. Four loops on your hook, pull through, chain one. Repeat that eight more times. There'll be a total of 10 3 4 side saddle stitch on row two. And I'll meet you at the end.
After you complete your last three four side saddle stitch, you're gonna slip stitch to join in that very first single crochet, just like the row before. Go ahead and insert your hook, pull through, slip stitch to join, and turn. Now we're gonna start row three. Row three is gonna be a full side saddle stitch and this is gonna be the rest of your hat. So only the first two rows are a little bit different. All right, you're gonna start by doing that single crochet, chain three, pulling your hook through the chain three space from the previous row. This time you're gonna go until you get five loops on your hook. This is a full side saddle stitch. And five. One, two, three, four, five. Pull through all five and chain one. Same thing in the next one. Single crochet, chain three. And then it's basically double crocheting four together right here. All right, and when you're done with that, you're gonna continue doing this until there's 10 full side saddle stitches all the way around. Once you get to the end, you're gonna slip stitch to join just like you did on the previous rows and turn your work. Row three is gonna be repeated five more times to get a total of eight rows. When you get to eight, just to make sure you can count them just like this, it's in a little zigzag. And then you're gonna start your rim. The rim you wanna make sure you're facing the outside of the hat so that you can get the nice braided effect. Your first row of the rim, you're going to start with a chain one and then you're gonna do four half double crochets per side saddle stitch. So the, you're gonna half double crochet into the top two stitches, the ones on top of the side saddle. There's your first half double crochet, second half double crochet, The third half double crochet is gonna go in the chain three space. And the fourth is gonna go into the space in between. And again, half double crochet on top of the side saddle and another one on top of the side saddle Then in the chain three space, and I guess that's actually the single crochet that's in the middle. You're gonna repeat this all the way around until you get to the last side saddle stitch and then I'll get back with you. For the last side saddle stitch, you're only doing three. So you're gonna do the two half double crochets on the top of the side saddle stitch. One, two, and then one in the chain three space. This is gonna give you a total of 39 half double crochets. Then you can slip stitch to join right in that first chain one space. And then I go ahead and count because you just n literally never know. I've done this hat hundreds and hundreds of times and every once in a while I still get the wrong count and there's nothing worse than having to go back and redo this first row. and 39. Do not turn on the rim, chain one, 
And then we're gonna alternate front post half double crochets and back post half double crochets. When you do your front post, you're gonna wanna make sure that you pull the yarn down over the stitch. You can see that here, not on the top, around the front. This will give you a nice braided look on your rim, which is what we're going for with this. So yeah, you just do this back and forth all the way around. And since it's an odd number, you're going to end in a front post half double crochet, which is correct. Just keep doing this and I'll meet you at the end of the row. All right, once you get to the end, you're going to slip stitch to join. And again, do not turn. You're gonna repeat that row three more times and start to get that nice braided rim. To count, just in case you're, you've lost count like I always do, you're just going to count these horizontal stitches. Five. There you go. Now we just have to finish the hat. I grab my yarn needle, some scissors, whatever you have laying around. Make sure you cut the yarn with enough space to tie in your ends. Secure, and we'll go ahead and tie in. So go ahead and thread your yarn. We always do our tie-ins on the back side of the hat just to be safe so I flip the rim here and I just go through it three times I think I learned this from Bella Coco if you haven't watched her she's great I'll link a video below her explaining how to do this but we just do a pass through three times Two, and once more, pulling it nice and loose so your rim isn't cinched up. And then cut. That'll give it a nice snug fit. Our, we like our hats to be able to be washed because you just never know what's gonna happen to them. And we found that going through three times makes it so that the yarn doesn't come loose. Now we're gonna go to the top of the hat. Definitely put your hat inside out for this one. Just like that. And here's where that long tail is gonna come into play. You need to get that hole gone. I guess unless you want your ponytail to stick through or something, which by all means, make or make. We just simply go in and out, weave in and out of the chain that we created in the beginning. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Just, I mean, get that hole closed, you know? Here's just simply how we do it, and I'll go ahead and fast forward. Once you get to the end, you're going to pull it tight and say bye bye hole. Once I do that, I again go around the hole back and forth three times just to secure it. I guess first I do a little bit of a knot, kind of, there, because I'm extra anal and I really don't want the hat to fall open on someone, or myself, if I'm making myself a hat. It's a little bit more difficult going back and forth on the round. I could use a curved needle, but 
Let's face it, that's just too much work and too fancy for me, so I'll do it the hard way. <laughs> there it is, it's gone. Snip that sucker off. Pull your hat around. And there it is. You can see there the back has a little bit of a seam in the rim. But you turn it around and voila. We always add one of our labels that we get from a little Etsy shop. I will link them down below. They're wonderful. And we just sew it on. Here's your finished hat. You can add a palm, you cannot. We have so many different styles and colors and shapes. If you like this video, follow us on our social media platforms, tag us in your stuff. We'd love to see it and let us know how we're doing.